oh my goodness this whole time don't tell me i had spit up on my shirt oh my gosh child when you have a child and i would wear a black shirt y'all the struggle is so real my battery about to die and everything y'all i'm gonna be back hey don't judge me with this spit up on my shirt this whole entire video don't be putting it in my comment section like girl you should have changed your shirt i know now but i'm not gonna redo this video so y'all just gonna have to deal with the spit up on the shirt ain't that right book of book hey mm. so y'all just gonna have to deal yes y'all is mm. yeah Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ty. Um, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five um, resource binders that I created when I pretty much began my self-talk journey and teaching myself um, all things fashion, sewing, pattern making, fashion design, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I really kind of just want to get straight to it and keep it short, sweet, and simple. So these binders pretty much play a pivotal role in my creative design process because I literally use each binder is kind of like with each step of my process each binder is like meant for that step and I'm going to break down each binder and kind of pretty much give you maybe some ideas of how you can actually turn these binders into a way of how you process things and how you go about your um design process your creative design process and how you can pretty much maybe transition it to catering to your needs and understand that these binders are not like a um already it's like a pretty much a finished resource product these binders are going to consistently grow as you grow as a creative and that's the thing as a creative you want to consistently grow just like as a person you want to consistently grow you want to get better you want to get better you want to learn more you want to broaden your creative scope i guess you can use that term and i don't know you just want to grow as a creative so these binders will grow with you i'm still building on the binders i'm actually still and like they're not even finished binders there's i'm still working on establishing um a set structure in a way that as i constantly grow especially now i'm a mom of four so i'm balancing a lot of things and i need my resources on it i need my process to be as simplified as possible as structured as possible in a way that when it comes time for me to come in my um creative space in my studio and i need to get work done everything is so structured and in order that i literally can go through each of my process each um step of my process with ease as you grow as a creative as you grow um as far as like the things and the products that you produce and the all of the projects that you pretty much develop through your creative um lens or whatever i'm really trying to use the right terms but as a creative the things that you produce through your creativity changes and shifts and it's like the more creative you get the more you grow in your creativity the more the things that you're of your desires like the more things kind of shift in your creative desires and you start to see like you know pretty much where you're naturally where you begin to naturally thrive as a creative so the binders are slow always shifting and i'm always changing them and i'm always kind of like adjusting them to where i am creatively and right now i feel like i'm i'm finally getting that judge of like knowing the process and the things that i need to do to like really like be in my creative zone and just produce creatively and it takes a, it takes time for you to get to that point i'm not even all the way there yet i'm still constantly growing like i said so i suggest that anyone watching this video if you're just now starting off as a creative like you're just now wanting to take that first step in that journey and teaching yourself fashion give yourself grace like give yourself grace and don't force anything to happen in the way that you feel like it's supposed to happen or the way that you see in it happen with someone else like you really got to allow yourself grace to grow and thrive in your own creativity and i'm not all right so i don't know what happened to the footage of me recording my notebooks before 
but I'm going to show you my notebooks and I'm going to also show you a couple of extra um, binders as far as um, pretty much organization inspiration, I guess. Um, and these binders are really, really helpful in organizing my life and everything that I do. And I hope you guys are um, like, I hope it helps you guys. I hope it's informative and it kind of give you some kind of inspiration to get your um, stuff organized. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the binders. Okay, so this binder is my inspiration binder. And what I do is I have, I collect magazine clippings. If I see something on um, the computer, I might print it out. Let's see if I have any printouts. I don't know if I have any printouts. Yeah, yes, I might print them out kind of like these right here. That's a printout. So yeah, this is the inspiration binder. And this is pretty much just um, some little, what do you call these? Sheet protectors. These are so cheap. You can get so many of these. They're super cheap. You get so many of them. They're super cheap. And I use regular printer paper and clip out the... Um, I'll show you what I do. <laughs> so I have a folder right here of pieces that I... Like things that I've kind of ripped out or clip, wanted to clip out. But I haven't like quite cut them up yet. So these are like the magazine pieces here. And as you can see, some that I've already cut out right here that I have not quite um, glued them on paper yet. So that's pretty much what I do. And then, like I said, I use regular, just regular printer paper. I keep so much printer paper in my house because I homeschool. Um, I work from home. Like I do so much stuff with printer paper. I have my, you know, do my patterns and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I have so much printer paper, but that's what I do. I just clip them out, cut them out, glue them to the paper, and I put them in sheet protectors, and then I put them in a binder. And this is just for if I'm in a stump, creative stump, then I just go through my inspiration binder and, yeah, just pretty much get inspired by some prints, some design details, some colors, some, I don't know, just whatever, an accessory, I don't know. But yes, this is my um, inspiration binder. And along with my inspiration binder, I also like take random sketches that I actually just randomly, I'll go to those, that I just randomly sketch. And I put these random sketches in the inspiration binder as well. So as you can see, these are just really just the most random like old random sketches or whatever and yeah and I put them in my inspiration binder um yeah so for future references when I want to you know maybe come back and if I'm like I said if I'm in a creative stump this right here is my go-to my go-to inspiration binder all right so this is like my sewing um pattern making binder where I put like a lot of different size charts. This is like old stuff that I I really pretty much been collecting since I've been kind of learning and teaching myself fashion. This is like so much old stuff. I use a um what do you call those things? Laminator. I think it's a I have a laminator cuz I I bought one for homeschool and I use it to laminate some of my things that I print out. So if I don't, if pretty much if I'm not using a sheet protector, then I'll have a laminator. And my laminator is just this scotch. I just use the scotch um, laminator or whatever. So my son just came and put that. <laughs> but yes, this is like all the fashion research, um, sewing research that I've collected over the years with pattern making and stuff like that. Um, Uh-oh, I'm messing up my binder here hold on oh crap 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 oh my gosh okay there we go all right so yeah this is pretty much all of the information that i've collected over the years um whether it was me scanning books from uh, I now own this pattern making book, <laughs> but when I was learning, I was checking out a lot of books from the library 
that um, dealt with like sewing, pattern making, design and fashion design and everything. I checked my local library and I was checking the books out for free. And if I like a book, I actually ended up buying a book. But this was before I ended up buying the book, which I now have this book. But I was laminating the pages or scanning the pages and like putting them in a binder, like literally information that I printed off the internet. Like, um, this is just like learning information. Now, my design details binder, I kind of put, I'm working on a design detail binder that's kind of like a design detail slash fashion illustration cheat sheet type of binder. So I put my own old design details information that I had in this binder because I'm creating a new design details binder. And I'll let you not guys see that one once I finish it. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait because it's going to be so helpful, so amazing. But this is like the design details. Um, this is also kind of like a part of the inspiration as well. But yeah, this binder right here has all of all of that. All of the information that I've collected. This is not even really all of it, but yeah, that's like a lot of information that I've collected. That's that binder. All right, so this binder is my fabric. <sighs> this is my fabric swatch binder. These are some fabric swatches that I've pretty much collected and stuff that I haven't filed in my um thing yet but i have fabric information in the front about different types of fabric like i said i use my laminator printed out information typed it up printed out information and um yeah it's like pretty much care information also different garments used for different fabrics then i have the color guide um different fabric swatches that you can actually kind of feel the fabrics Feel the um, quality, like you know the texture of the fabrics, and then this is like different fabric swatches that I order from textile companies. Um, I've cut from my own fabric and created my own. Um, and this was before I actually established my own fabric swatch worksheet and design details binder that I now have that really helps me a lot. I was literally creating the stuff myself. And just writing it, as you can see, on a regular piece of paper. But now I actually have um, worksheets and everything for all of this. So every time I get a fabric, a, you know, I'm not having to draw the lines and fill all that information in. But, yeah, I was doing that before. And, yeah, this is just like fabric swatches where, like, you, depending on where you get your fabric swatch from, they will have the information of the fabric, where you got it from, how many yards they have, how much it is per yard um the different colors different um all that kind of stuff so this is like my fabric swatch worksheet um yeah but this is like my fabric swatch binder yeah fabric swatch binder and yeah it's just pretty much fabric so much fabric that comes into play that you can kind of come in for reference when you're in design mode and you kind of like want a certain detail to pop out or you feel like you know you want to see if a certain fabric will work with a certain detail that you're trying to do start collecting you a fabric binder all right all right so this is not a binder but i'm gonna show y'all something that i also do i did so <laughs> this is like a little pouch thing like a little pouch and i collect different colors um that has like the color names and stuff like that but i collect different colors now these are not the pantone these are not like the pantone colors these are actually like um paint swatch colors but i um i do um it's easy to pretty much find the matching pantone color because you can pretty much just google the colors that you see and then you know you can pretty much find the pants on color. But, yes, like, I have a, a thing that's full of, like, different color swatches and everything. So, if I'm trying to put together a color scheme. Uh-oh. Come here. You can bring her here. Hold on. Okay. So, like, if I'm having, I'm trying to put together a color scheme or something like that, then... Yeah, so if I'm trying to put together a color scheme or something like that, then I use these to kind of like 
give me a blueprint. And then I go searching for the different fabrics and stuff like that. And yeah, that's my son. So <laughs> I go searching for the different fabrics and stuff like that to kind of go along with the color scheme. So this is not a part of the binders, but you can literally, I if, like I could literally probably take these on um, printer paper and even laminate them or put them in a protective sheet and that you can literally create you a color swatch binder. So yeah, and I might end up doing that. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so, so these, now we're in a different setting. This is the big dog binder. Look at this binder. <laughs> So even though it has that this is like my design and planning binder, it has design planning, project planning, um, life planning, <laughs> everything planning in this binder. And it's um, pretty much I, I'll go ahead and open it. But um, this is like stuff like I keep I write down no car, no cars and stuff like that. Just random stuff that I write down. This is my baby girl. She's she's going to be with us. In the video today she uh, she always like messing with that this is my jump drive where i keep uh important files project files patterns and um different stuff that i'm um design stuff that i'm working on i keep that on there it, it holds a lot of memories so because a lot it, you can literally like be using up too much space on your computer sometimes when you're um dealing with certain stuff um like when you're doing so many projects and doing so much stuff. Buka. But um yeah, she's already ready to design, y'all. I'm telling y'all. She's already ready. She's already ready. Okay. I so, didn't talk with all the other binders, but this is like more in depth. So this is my orders folder and I keep an order tracker worksheet in here. Um my receipt. Keep a receipt record worksheet in here. And these are like where I keep all of my blank worksheets if I just have some extra copies printed out I keep them in there then you have your month at a glance and this is where I pretty much plan out my whole entire month and I have all of my um, planner worksheets for that month and then my video planner this is for like when I'm doing videos for YouTube or um I'm going to be working on other platforms and creating content for other platforms as well. So this is, um, that's my video planner and these worksheets can be found on my website, digital download, just purchase it and it downloads right to your computer. And this is my, uh, this is a product. So this is a digital product that I'm currently working on. That's similar to the worksheets and everything, but it's a digital product that I'm working on. This right here is a PDF pattern that I'm working on. So it's going to be a whole collection of different designs of bell bottoms. And I'm working on that PDF pattern. So I guess I'll show you inside of this right here. Cause this is nothing. I mean, it's like, it's no biggie. I can show y'all inside of this. So I don't take it out. I just leave it in here. Anyways, so this is what it will look like. So you have your project worksheet. And this is where I just kind of like give a synopsis of the project. Any notes that I need to take for it. I have a kind of like a sketch or a rough draft sketch. And um, these are going to be for like um, any more additional details. Like I like to keep a lot of those because I change up my design a lot. Here's some inspiration. Uh, inspiration collage the brainstorming of kind of like design details of what I wanted on here and this is when I start getting into like the design name so when I'm selling it as a PDF pattern or if I'm producing it like it's gonna have a design name I'll have my design notes and description to what I'm gonna um, you know how I want to describe it and then just like fabric swatches and notes as far as the type of fabrics that can be used with so this is like my process of creating the um, PDF pattern any additional notes then you have the pattern planning and I'm looking at the different I'm breaking down the different pattern pieces on um, the pattern layout um any additional um, notions or certain things that you need for the pattern any additional notes pattern number like I literally have that and then this is like just like the sewing steps of producing the pattern so the pattern instructions and then this is like a fabric swatch 
um sheet that I kind of was talking about earlier for your fabric swatch notebook. So this is but this will be specifically used for this design. Um as far as like like different fabrics that will probably go good with that particular project that I'm working on. And that's just like a look inside of how I use these worksheets. And that's just from from the design aspect right there. This the what I just showed you was an actual design but this right here is an actual digital product so it's not necessarily a design but as you can see i have a project worksheet and i tell you what the project is i give a description so it can be used for so many different things and uh, i just broke down like the different how i'm gonna break down the visual garment so it's gonna be a visual gar garment glossary that i'm gonna create and it's gonna be pretty awesome because i'm gonna just uh-huh i'm not gonna go get the details i'm not gonna get the details but <sighs> yes yeah, so then i also have the like i said the video planner and yeah so this is a look inside of my design planning notebook yeah and let's look at the other ones okay so <laughs> that's the book baby boy okay well she's right there oh uh, you want to say hello you wanna say hello. Okay, so like I said before, this video yeah. was for you to get. All right, so I hope um, that you enjoyed this video. The whole purpose of this video was to show you guys how you can literally build your own course books or binders of information by just doing your research and collecting the research. And that's literally like the key to teaching yourself fashion. Research and let your creativity and your, um, pretty much the things that you're inquisitive about, like let that kind of lead your learning and your research. Let that lead your learning, let that lead your research. And as you research, gather that research and keep it, put it in a binder, organize it in a binder and keep it because you're gonna forever be able, you're gonna need just like a lawyer need things resource guides or resources to go back to when they're working on certain cases you will need those things too so that was my tip for today and i hope you guys enjoy bye So y'all just gonna have to deal. Yes, y'all eat. Yeah.